What's good, Money Squad? Your boy J Money Good is back with another Madden 23 coin making better video. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have been sniping, training, 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 guys. I also did do uh, the unlimited coin making method. And it's so funny, guys. Today I was selling strategy cards. People were listing them for 65K. And I wound up selling all of my strategy cards. Almost all of them, like around like 80, 75,000 coins. It was crazy. Uh, people just really don't know how to sell things. I was trying to tell you guys, explain to you, man. Like, they, they, sell, they don't really sell in the daytime like that. But at nighttime, they sell like super, super, super easy, man. So, I mean, make sure you guys list those strat cards high if you are doing the method. Uh, people are just dropping the prices, dropping the values down. Almost destroying the method. If I didn't know that they sold higher for what, you know, than what they're listed for. Um, people don't know how to filter down. The method would be trashed, but I sold all mine at 80k, bro. I made a boatload. Uh, I have a ton of 90s as well, so we're looking for 83s tonight. We're getting them around 6,800 coins. I took too long on that one. I was just sitting there talking on it, so uh, you know what I'm saying. Also, we want to look for 82s around 3,000 coins as well. Look at this. This is under. Uh, this is under 10 per. I pointed this out when I was in the homie stream earlier. Uh, so I'm sure people are on this filter now. Uh, I was over in the homie uh, potato stream and I told him, I told everybody what I was doing over there. So nobody was on this filter earlier on PS, dude. I gave this to a couple of their friends as well. Okay, so with this stream, dude, we're, with this with this filter here, guys, we're gonna be trying to pick up uh, 83s for it's around 6,800 coins, it's around like 10 per. We go six nine, we're like 10 one. Okay, so we want to get the cheapest training in the game because we want to be able to sell it back tomorrow if everything does rise up. Now, hopefully it does rise up. Um, you know, you would think that it would with the training variety packs in the store. Now, a lot of people are already invested in training, but we're still getting training for the same price as everybody else. So it's not even like a big sweat if you guys didn't scoop up your training. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to go in. I think I'm only going to go like $3 million in. Just because I want to do methods to get my stack up. You know what I mean? I like doing the market stuff, but I like the grind of methods. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do a little bit of market and uh, mostly methods here, dude. So, um, But buying this stuff, man, and selling it back. Super, 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 super Gucci, Gucci profit, bro, um, that you guys can be making. Okay? So, but just by buying these cards today and selling them tomorrow. Look at this. Look how easy this is, dude. Barely, barely any competition. Okay? Now for my high stack, that's for like a low stack method. Plus, if you want to get some cheap training, dude, if there's going to be rolls or if you're going to try the rolls, that's the way to go. Give me one second, guys. Stop screaming, dude. My son's screaming like a wild man right now. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Playing with the homies, he likes to scream and act like a nut. He's just like his dad. <laughs> but I, uh, sorry it took me so long to get on, guys. You know what I mean? All right, so I had questions as well. Uh, should I sell my squad off? I would sell my team off tomorrow if you guys want to do that, okay? Now, when I said that, dude, that was just a suggestion. That was just a hypothesis. So what I do, guys, when I talk about things in my videos, all right, I try to give you guys many, many different methods that you can use. So, like, one of my suggestions is, like, you're not really grinding the game out like that, man. And you want to see that when the market rises... If you're gonna sell your team off and then use all, all BND squad, yes, that's very profitable. But at the same time, really decide in your head, like, hey man, do I just wanna run with an all BND squad? You know what I mean? How much am I playing the game? So if you guys were like playing the game as much as me, man, you really wouldn't even need a crazy, crazy team like that. I only get enough wins in everything that I need to do in order to go ahead and get my rewards on my field pass and stuff, all right? So, I mean, I'm not really playing my champions. I'm not really playing head to head. I'm just really playing the market. And if you're like me, bro, like I have a god squad right now. It's not necessary at all. You know what I mean? But I still need to get some wins in the Mutt Champions. Um, I do have some good BNDs. Remember, you guys can make legend sets, get BNDs. You could do the most feared sets, sell off the boss, and get all those BNDs. And those 90s will play relatively close to your 92s. Uh, will they play as good? No, but they will play close enough. I mean, if you are a good player, I would suggest something like that. You know what I mean? If you can get away with it. Um, because what I was talking about when I said everything's going to shift, there's always a point in time in the Madden market where everything does shift. Now, I don't know exactly if it's going to be coming up. 
uh, just because the training variety pack kind of throws everything off. Now, normally it would. As soon as like a higher tier comes in, the lower tiers drop. Now, that roll that comes out tomorrow is 30,000 coins. So, uh, 30,000 coins a roll. 30,000 coins a roll. So, that's a, that's a large amount of coins to be paying for that roll. Now, the only thing I can think of is that Madden somehow would drop the market. I don't know how exactly. In order to make that a fair roll, either that, guys, or that will be one hell of an expensive roll. Um, it's already at 30k, so I really don't see how we could push the market up even more. Because I feel like less people would be rolling than more, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. That's one way we could look at that. Either that, guys, or the market just shoots sky high. And people are going to be paying to do the strategy roll. Now, I have to do the strategy roll to show you guys if it's profitable, profitable or not. You know what I mean? Usually when it first drops, it is, and then it kind of diminishes it away. Now, well, the one thing, though, that I do like about Strat Pack, so even though it's such a high cost right now, I love the fact that limited time cards are in there. I like to be able to roll and pull limited time cards knowing that they're in a pack where I can make profit up from or break even. Um, in the Strategy Pack, I did make some profit here and there, all right, but I feel like, I don't know. I, I gotta go back and look at the videos. I gotta go back and look at the videos. I just felt like there were some times where we just lost a ton, a ton of profit from that, man. And I had to start going, I had to like lose profit and then go to sniping and reposting. Lose profit and go to sniping and reposting. And that's what it seemed like. It was only like I could win on the weekends when the when the profit, uh, so when, they, when it would drop down in price and there was limited times, we know that there was limited times in the packs. That's when we could roll. Now, when there wasn't LTDs in packs, we couldn't roll them, so I mean, if there's not LTDs in packs tomorrow, uh, yes, there's going to be reduxes. Reduxes will go for a pretty good price, but depending on how many cards are coming out of there, right? Because it's a supply and demand thing. If we're getting like more reduxes than quick sell cards, it could flood the market and make it the market stabilize. Now, it just all depends on how Madden handles it. Okay. So, but either way, what I'm doing, guys, is I'm getting training at the cheapest value, and I'm going to sell it back tomorrow. All right, now, whenever we try and get, look, look, it's 5,000 coins, guys, like, uh, uh, too freaking slow. That was like a beautiful snipe right there. I mean, you go ahead, you buy yourself like 2 million in 83s, try and get it for the lowest value, not bad, especially if you want to roll or sell back, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead, we're going to move on now. All right, we're going to move on. All right, now I didn't invest in the 89 all Madden cards. They're like floating around like 120, 110. I don't know. I still feel like they might be a good buy, depending on if everybody's gonna be chasing that all Madden squad. Um, like if they're coming out of rolls and stuff like that, you know, we don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. We have to wait and see on that, man. Uh, 90 and 91s. So let's go to buy now. Okay, guys, you can see they're at 120 already. I've been buying 90s at 90,000 coins all day. I uh, was selling them at 130 earlier. All right, so this is around like 10 per if you buy them at 100. Okay, now if I was to go ahead and like sell them, I sold some back when they were going for like 130. I was buying them at like 90, 95, selling them back when they were like 130k. Now remember, guys, you could always filter down more as well. Sometimes you're not seeing the cheapest cards, so do keep that in mind. You know what I mean? If you want to go through the different promos sometimes that might be the way to go ahead and get like a cheaper profit sometimes you can try all the events all offense you know what i mean see if something will pop up at a cheaper value but filtering down by different um by different programs definitely 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 can help you out definitely 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 can help you out man so look 109 all right, but we're trying to get that 110 and then like sometimes like I said, you might have to filter down by a position uh, after filtering down By uh, whatever program that you're looking for man, but yeah, man scoop up training today, man Sell it tomorrow. It's not too late to invest. You know what? I mean, I thought it was still like ah, oh, it's gonna be too late to invest because the market went way high today guys But so much demand went into the market uh, I mean so much supply went into the market and not enough demand bro because everybody was just listening listen listen now, I feel like people are buying right now but they're trying to buy and resell. I don't feel like a lot of people are buying and reselling. I mean, there's too many people buying and reselling. Not enough people buying, I think, is what's going on. Now, there are certain things you can buy and resell. We will go over that. But if you could try and scoop up these 90s, if you see them sitting around 100K tonight, man, 
scoop them up because if they go up to like 120, 130, uh, you definitely can make some bank off of it. So if they go up to like 130, man, I could possibly make like 30k per 90 that I sniped at 100k today. That's why I was going after these bad boys. So that way, I don't have to snipe a ton of small cards. You know what I'm saying? To like sell back for a higher value, I could just snipe the higher values and then sell the higher backs for a higher value instead of sniping a ton of small cards. All right, so yeah, I got my Reggie weights today at 100k. All right, I was selling them back at 130. So yeah, Reggie white always goes down and then goes back up. I told you those AKA cards go down and go back up. Now this week is different though. Everything's down because like the higher cards are down because people are selling off. Wow, he's down too. He's getting Redux. That's why, huh? Is Cameron Wake getting Redux? I didn't see if Cameron Wake was getting Redux. If he is. I'm gonna probably scoop Cameron Wake up because I don't know why he was two million coins. He must be freaking amazing if he's so much coins, man. Um, yeah, man. But check, cycle through. They're up right now because I, I mean, like I said, I was in other people's streams popping in uh, while I was driving, dropping some knowledge. Okay, and then I also received knowledge at the same time, man. And that's the good thing about having homies that like make coin making. You know what I'm saying? That's why I rub elbows with some of the best coin makers in the game, man. You know what I mean? Even if it's on Twitch. I got a couple homies on Twitch. I pop in their stream. I drop knowledge. You know what I mean? And I ask questions. You know what I'm saying? So I give you guys the best knowledge. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Those are the methods that I was doing, guys. Okay? Um, these are the methods that my other homie was doing. Now, remember, when we're buying training, guys, we like to knock the cost off of the training. All right? So the homie was... Buying 88s for like, I think like 40K, uh, 50K selling them for 60K. All right, so let's see 89s as well. Let's see 89s. 89s are selling at 80,000 80, coins. Okay, cool. So you can even snipe them. So uh, so let's just check them out. And then we're going to try and check out what he was doing. See if that works. So 60, right? 60. And I'll shout him out to him. Homie, big Tato. Uh, but let's see if it works right now. I know he was giving his method out to a lot of people, man. So... Uh, so it's 80 and 60. So let's just try and snipe regularly first. And I'm going to filter down my program. And try to do what he was doing. All right. So it was, it was 60 and 80, correct? 60 and 80. 60 and 80. 60 and 80. So how do I pause this real quick? All right, guys. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, my kid was just like screaming like a nut, dude. <clears throat> All right, so let's go. Let's see if we can scoop these things up here, man. Um, it was 60 and 80. If we don't see no good snipes to like buy and sell back, then we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna filter down. Uh, so look, 56 right there. 56 right there. So he said if he sees him at 40 for 88, he's pulling the trigger. So he's on Xbox though. So his his might be different for sure. This might be different for sure, but uh, we're going to try the method now that he suggested to do after I go around and see if I can get any snipes. Yeah, dude, I definitely like the Luke Keekly over the Brian Erlacher, guys, okay? I like the Luke Keekly over the Brian Erlacher. So, 72,000 coins, that's not too bad, bro. That's not a bad snipe, especially if they're selling at what? What are they selling at? 80,000 coins. I mean, you could go ahead and pick that one up right there. You could pick that one up right there and try and list it. Now, they're selling at 77. You could try and list it for 82 to see if it sells. I mean, it is a Michael Strahan. It is a Michael Strahan. All right, let's go ahead and check the method out now, though. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to filter down by program. And then what he does is he goes to newest, and then he goes to... Uh, the different programs, um, and that's how he's finding good snipes. That's what he was saying he was doing, okay? So he goes to the headliners promo to look for uh, 87, or I'm sorry, my 88, 89. I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong one. It looks so there you go. All right, so let's try this filter. Maybe it'll work. Um, yeah, headliners, 70K, not bad. Not bad. You might be able to sell that mix in for 80K. Yeah, let's see what I'll see. Let's see what he's selling for. Okay, so Joe makes it 74, 74, 75. All right, not bad. Newest. Let's try and filter down and around again. He said, um, Corey Leeds. 
Hardcore Elites. 57 on TJ Watt. 55 on Miles Garrett. Try offense and defense. See if we filter down a little bit more when we're in here. Maybe I should have done it on the other side, too. So. 60K for Derrick Henry. Yeah, he was telling people his method, so I don't know exactly. Uh, I don't know how much is going to be popping. Oh, Madden. And then, uh, look at that. So, 118. That's not bad, I guess, bro. I mean, they were selling for crazy prices today, for sure. Please, all Madden. So, it was... What about Campus Heroes? Do we know they don't have an 89? Uh, Legends? Let's try Legends. So he said, filter down by 88, 89, 86, 87, and then check the difference on. So let's go to 86, 87 now. Let's go to 86, 87. And then we're going to go to... Oh, look at that. 21,000. Let's go. 21,000. Oh, my God, bro. Look at that, guys. Damn, bro. That was it, man. We were right on that filter. And we missed that daggone snipe right there, didn't we? We missed that. We missed that snipe. So, yeah, look at that. Look at that. So I see what he's saying, bro. Filter down by the different programs. Ah, uh, just because you know what I mean. That's how you want to get them snipes out there, boys. So shout out to homie Big Tato, man. Giving your boy the the you know the knowledge. You know I kind of knew this already. Um, but mostly I just filter down by position. You know what I'm saying? But I mess with the homie, bro. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. Go give him a look, see, bro. I know I've seen a couple of you guys in the stream tonight. Shout out to Dello. I know Captain Jack hangs out over there as well. And uh, the one thing, guys, when you go over and see the homie, man, he does like sniping and reposting. Make sure you uh, give him a good money squad, bro. Money squad. I love to send the homies over uh, wherever y'all go with a nice money squad. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, 26 is, or 86 is at 24, dude. That's not bad. They possibly could go up a little bit more for sure. Uh, I like my training around 10 per, though. It has to be at um, 10 per for sure. All right, so let's try. Uh, let's go. Let's try these uh, most fear jaunts. Let's try these most fear jaunts. Yeah, they're floating around 33. What are, what are 87 selling for right now? Let's see what 87s are actually selling for. I don't even know what 87s are selling for. I don't even know what 86 are selling for. I think 86 are at what? 24K? Yeah, they had 24K. And then 87 is still at 30K. But he said he was getting some good snipes, so I just wanted to try it out. We still have to try his other filters real quick. Oh, so look, they're going for 35. So 87 selling for 35 then. All right. 87 selling for 35. 87 selling for 35. And the other one selling for. Um, I'm going to try and get them around 20. Look at that, 33 for Chase. Wow, not bad, bro. But you guys get the picture, man. We're gonna be looking for snipes. Uh, pick your 83s up. The market does seem kinda dead for sure right now, man. Let's go back to Legends. I mean, 23K, bro, that's not bad for an 86, guy. Especially if they go up tomorrow. Not really where we want to be at though. We want to we want to get like we want to get around 20k. Um, so we seen these selling around what? These were selling what? 36. So I mean that's not too bad. I mean we can make 3k profit off of that. Oh no we can't. No we can't. Yeah, people on it, man. People on this method right here for sure. People on this method for sure. Uh, where's the other one at? Red Iron Guardians. Yeah, people on this method for sure, bro. 26, 24, 24. Let's go all offense. So 22,000 coins. That's not too bad, I guess. But not exactly where we want that. You know what I'm saying? You want to sell them at like 26. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, man. I don't know, bro. Um, sniping and reposting for sure. Sniping and reposting. You filter down by the different uh, programs like he's doing, bro. Um, if you want to do that as well. But yeah, guys. I'm just picking up training tonight to sell tomorrow let's do 84.85 let's do 84.85 i'm probably gonna do another run of strategy packs uh they was so it's nighttime though they usually don't sell this late at night that's the only thing 
No, you gotta sell them like at the right time, bro. So that's the only thing. Uh, you gotta hit big, rolling like now. You know what I mean? You gotta hit big. So if you're not hitting big, man, because a lot of a lot of times you won't be able to sell a lot of your stuff at nighttime, which kind of sucks. Most of that shit will sell during the day. So we're looking for 84s around 8,000 coins, and we're looking for 85s around 10. All right, while we looking down here, we're looking for 84s around 8,000 coins, putting the 87, 86, 87 exchange set, of course, that we know. Remember, we need to know our gold card, our gold stripe cards as well. But yeah, man, buy a ton of training, bro. Uh oh, we missed this bad boy. Look at that, bam! Oh my god, bro! Everybody's sniping so hard out there, boys. I keep missing all the good snipes. Shit, I go another one. I just fucking. Bruh. I'm being bagged right now, bro. I'm being bagged. I'm gonna go back to my, my damn 83 filter while I was happy, bro. I had no comp down there. I had no comp. There we go. Oh, we need that bad boy. Can we get that, please, man? Bang, bang. Let's go. Let's go. 85s, man. 85s. We getting it, bro. Yeah, we getting that, boy. 85s, buy them at 10. We sell them at 15. That knocks 5k off of our training right there. Let's get it, right? Let's get it. Let's get it. Alright, so that's what we're looking for, bro. We're just looking for snipes. It don't matter what the overall, bro. Alright, remember, we're looking for these around. Look, this is perfect price for these cards right here. Look, 6,700. We need these, boys. We need these right here. So we buy in 83s, we buy in 85s, we, we buy in whatever we can. We buy in whatever we can, all right? Damn, I missed that other one, though. Damn, bro, I wanted to do that set real fast. Damn, bro. Damn, that's just wild. That shit got, 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 got real quick, bro. Yeah, but this is where the coins are at, guys. This is where the coins are at, man. Get on here and start sniping around. Start sniping around. All right. Uh, get your stack up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go hit more, some, some more strat rolls, so I'm not going to hold y'all. But yeah, man, so I'm buying and reselling cards. Uh, I also bought my training. Like I said, I got 90s at around like 90 to 100K. Uh, I plan on selling them back for 130 so I could go ahead and cut down on some of the profit that I'll lose from those uh, TVPs. That's if I lose any. Now, I will have the video for you guys. Uh, I have to go pick up my meds real early in the morning tomorrow, man. But I'm going to try and be back in time for when promo drops. Damn, dude. If, it, if I'm not here in time, bro, you know, listen, I'll get I'll get the video out. Uh, we'll be live streaming. We'll be live streaming. We'll probably be live streaming when we rip those packs tomorrow, to be honest with y'all. Uh, we'll be live streaming as soon as I get back from the from the from the uh, VA hospital to pick my meds up. We'll be all on grinding, bro. Uh, whatever training we got, we'll try it out. And if it's good, we'll just buy more training and we'll do it again. And if it's bad, you now I'm saying we're, we're just gonna sell off our training. That's all. But that's why it's good to have training, bro. Just in case. Look, that's a good buy for training. I mean, it's not good to like really resell unless you're selling at like 17k, right? But it's the best time to buy. It. It's the best out. Everybody's like balls deep in training, man. I mean, last time I did this though, EA fucked me, bro. So like, that's why I'm like really nervous about doing this shit. Uh, I'm even like, I'm even skeptical about giving out news to buy training and to resell, man. Because every time I go huge, EA fucking sends a giant cock my way, and it fucks me all up, man. But yeah, I mean, and then you guys can also look at, like I said, if you got your pack trash still uh, from. The, the most feared rolls, the field pass is going to reset soon. You can sell stuff then. If you got 80 overalls, man, you're going to need some 80 overalls. They can go up in value tomorrow as well if you got a ton of 80 overalls. Any overall you got could go up tomorrow, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Scoop some shit up. Just buy some shit. But get it at the cheapest value. That's the thing. Just in case if it doesn't increase like we think it's going to do. Because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how much, um, you know, reduxes are going to come out. You know what I mean? Is it going to give us enough training to supply the markets where it doesn't collapse are they going to be too expensive where people are afraid to do them Thirty thousand coins a roll are we gonna have to wait for the roll to drop before it gets super active or super profitable you know what i mean is it is it even going to be valuable at first how much are the redux cards going to sell for you know what i mean and we're paying you know sell the card sells for three hundred thousand coins but you know you have 
10 bad rolls, I mean, you could break even no one by pulling a good stra uh, Redox card at first. But we know Redox cards will lose their value very fast. So, I mean, we really never had, like, TVP this early, man. So, I don't know. Now, is this going to be here for Blitz? It's going to affect a lot of things, man. It's going to affect a lot of things. We have to take that into consideration this year. So, I really like just doing coin-making methods. I don't mind fucking with the market. Um, I mean, it is super profitable, but... Right now, dude, I've been making, like, 2 million coins a day. Or every two days, so... Uh, I've been pretty Gucci with that, you know what I mean? Pretty Gucci with that. I know a lot of you guys have been eating out there as well. But yeah, man, buy cards today. Sell them tomorrow. I got a ton of this shit, dude. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. Like I said, we sold off all of our strat items as well. We sold off all of our strat items as well. But always snipe and repost when you're buying training, dude. I think I'm going to buy some more 90s. I might just go all the way down in 90s and just gamble. You know what I mean? Just gamble like a full mill. Like, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, I didn't sell all of them, huh? I sold most of them. I sold most of them. Yeah, I sold most of them. Oh my god, I sold it in the zone. I sold that for 88k. Let's go. Let's go. Um, look, see, and people have these posted so low. That's the thing. You can't do that. Why do that? People are so silly, dude. In the zones, they sell for good coin, bro. Now, there's so many different in the zones. There's so many different in the zones. There's like seven different in the zones, bro, but I sell mine high. It's crazy. I literally sell mine for 88,000 quid. I had like four different in the zones with like different, they all, because all strategy items have different things on the front, which makes them different cards. You know what I'm saying? On the move, this is a hard one to sell, but if there's not one up, guys, oh my God, bro, you can literally sell these for high prices because somebody might want that and be like, yo, damn, they only see one up, so they might think it's Gucci, bro. I'm telling you. Uh, I, I was able to sell a ton off, bro. A ton. So this is what, and this is what happens. Like after I roll my strat cards for the day, guys. Now, these ones are hard to sell right here, bro. These never sell. Uh, there's no point in me. Like, I I try to get these to sell, man, but I can't sell these ones. They're hard to sell. Um, they're super hard to sell, man, for sure. For sure. O-line ones, guys. See, people are underselling these. Look, there's not even one up. Remember, sometimes people need to get matching chemistries, guys. So if you look at this one, O-Lime ones are good ones. Look, 79,000 coins. Okay, look, I'm going to list this one up. There's only one of these up. So if someone has the other matching chemistry out there and they've been waiting for this, dude, and they keep checking and come back, I was like, oh, shit, it's there. You know what I mean? Some people like their line to be the strongest thing, dude. Spec heads. Now, this one person has their listed kind of okay. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. They're hard to sell. I mean, I know they're hard to sell, guys. But, uh, I mean, I sell all mine all day, bro. It takes me a full day to sell them. And then I make an outrageous amount of coins every time. Like, And depending on how much longer I wait, like if I, if I take the time to sell every single one off, some of them for outrageous prices because I don't drop the prices till the end of the night. I keep my prices high for the most part of the day. Um, so... Like, if I hop on and I see that, like, they didn't sell and there's only one of that specific card up, bro, I sell that high. If you want to see this, go to the unlimited coin making method that I dropped today. All right, I will lift, list this video as um, promo preparation. What I do to get prepared for promo, as you guys can see, I snipe a ton of those 83s. That's when I'm going to be buying 83s. I have a ton of 90s that I plan on selling back for... Um, 120 130 look these are these look why do they have look they have these listed so low bro so low bro oh my god it's a shame it's a shame look there's not even one of these up right here there's not even one of these up this is like a one of a kind one even though it's a trash one look i'll still try and sell it high man watch and some of these will sell high that's the thing like i'll get like two or three of these off bro i already know i already know now it's late at night but it's not that late on the west coast but uh yeah man um Guys, don't trash the method, bro. Don't trash the method. I know it's probably not y'all out there that are watching this. My homies, man. You guys already know what's popping. But I'm just letting you know. That's what I be doing, guys. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. All right. Much love, man. Peace.